Hi everyone, thanks for watching again. Uh, this is Jennifer from JE Photography Design. Um, if you're not a member of our In the Box education site, um, this is what it looks like. Please feel free to look it up and uh, come and join our growing community. Um, you'll also see in the group right here at the pinned post, it's at the very top, you will have access to um, more YouTube videos, you're probably already on there though, and also you'll get a free download for this four square, and uh, currently right now I also have a free download of this uh, other template, which is a little bit unique, um, and the links are in the pinned post, so you can go there and get some free templates to try out the, your in-the-box creations and hopefully uh, you can post some of your creations and let me know what you think of the templates. So I'm going to go into Lightroom and I've just picked four pictures from one of my sessions I did back in October. Excuse the lighting, I kind of messed up there. But as you can see they are not cropped or anything. Um, these, the first two I've done some editing to. This one here is completely straight out of camera. I have not touched it. I have not done anything to it. Um, so normally what I do for these in the box photos is I just kind of play around with it. Um, you can see up here um, I had it at ISO 500 and uh, should have been a little bit lower um, and the shutter speed was 1 1 25th which I usually do 1 200th so I'm not quite sure what I did there. Um, normally I shoot at about an f5 and I normally use a manual focus and try to focus right in the center. I have something in there prior to the session and focus on that. Um, if for some reason something's going a little bit quirky or it's not looking right I'll flip back to autofocus and adjust that way but for the most part I shoot in manual um, and I use my Sigma Art 35 millimeter and I shoot with a Nikon 5300. So anyways back to this. Um, what I have been doing lately is on my camera when I'm shooting I'll change my white balance to flash and then that way when I come into Lightroom I can just change this also to flash and it's going to bring my white balance to where I want it. Um, again, I screwed up the lighting a bit. I had my pot lights on over top, which gave everything a bit of a yellow hue, which I don't really care for. Um, so anyways, I just kind of play around with some of the um, exposure, the contrast, highlights. I up the shadows a tiny bit. I up the white to make it a bit brighter. And then just your basic, oh, I forgot to do the lens correction, and your basic sharpening just really basic Lightroom things which I believe you can also do in um, Camera Raw in Photoshop. So this is just what I do to all my pictures in the collection. Once I have it done, the easiest way for me is I highlight them all at the same time. So I've got my main one I just worked on and then I selected all the others. And I do a sync and I sync everything. So it does pretty much a batch edit, which is convenient for me because then I don't have to go through everything and do the same um, edits. Now, for some reason, I needed to adjust something. I can go in and like this one needs a little bit more uh, exposure, looks like. So I can go in individually one by one and just adjust things as I need to. But for purposes of the video, I'm going to do this quickly. So now what I normally do is I normally in Lightroom adjust a little bit. I crop things down so they're easy to take into Photoshop because I personally like easy in my life, easy things. Um, and again, Control D deselects everything. So I've got that. I'm going to sync going to check none so I don't want to synchronize everything else to the exposure I did. So I'm going to process version you always have to do and now I'm just going to sync the crop to all of the photos. Now obviously the one where his little leg was hanging out isn't going to sync properly because his legs are dangling so I just go back onto that picture, drop that down a bit, 
make sure everything's good and my pictures are ready to take into light into Photoshop sorry so now I've got all four selected I'm going to right click on my mouse down in the pictures and I'm going to edit in open as layers in Photoshop and this is going to export them all into Photoshop for me so I've got my Photoshop opened open anyway and this will just take a second for them to come in so while it's doing that I'm going to quickly explain the uh, free template that you'll get to download when you download it from Facebook you will be downloading a from the Dropbox link that I gave you you're going to download the PSD file and you're going to get it and on the very top layer of the template you're going to see these this basic instructions um, you're gonna get more of a detailed instruction sheet a PDF it's about three or four pages long um, if you purchase any of the additional templates I have that included um, in my Etsy store but for now this should help give you an idea on how to do some basic editing along with watching these videos so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your basic template and over at the right hand side you can see I have two of them colored in blue it says hide this layer hide this layer As soon as you click on the eyeball there it's gonna hide those layers and you no longer have those instructions now if you need to go back in and look at them you can always click them back on to see what you're doing or see if you missed something um, so now what I'm gonna do is all of my photos have come in up here the top into four different layers my easiest way to do it is I use my marquee tool on each image drag it over drop it in next image marquee it sorry gonna deselect the first image and I'm going to hide the top image I just did and I've got my marquee tool I'm going to select that clicking over here my move tool clicking in the box and dragging it over to my template back over here hiding so I'm just doing this for all four and this is why I only chose to do the four today because uh, if I did this for all nine you'd be here forever waiting for me to drag all my photos in and the last photo to bring in same thing marquee select it bring it in now when I'm shooting downstairs in my studio I shoot in the basement um, I have my camera set to portrait style so when I have any dangling legs I'm getting the full effect and I don't have a whole lot of cropping as you could see in my Lightroom um, I don't have a whole lot of cropping that I have to do um, because I have it set to portrait style so sorry I've clicked all four of my layers over here and I'm going to edit and I'm gonna go free transform and I'm just gonna quickly transform roughly approximately the size of the gray boxes that I have here I don't make it perfect because I'm gonna have to warp and change things anyway so I just want it to be a rough idea and from here I'm going to pick on it pick a picture over in the layer and I'm just gonna move them to where I want them so I'm gonna put this picture I'm gonna leave that one up in that corner I'm gonna put this picture here and I always try to arrange them so if I have feet dangling that I have a smaller picture below um, sorry I didn't pick the greatest pictures but I try to arrange them so the feet aren't dangling over someone else's face or they're not in the way of something else in a prop or you know looking weird so that's how I try to position them unless the client has specifically told me where they want their pictures and I have had one where the feet were dangling in front of the face so I had to switch it up and that was fine with them so now what I'm gonna do is I've moved my pictures where I want them and now I'm just gonna actually literally drag them down over top of the gray boxes where I'm putting them now from here if you're not doing an in-the-box and just wanted to do like four regular pictures uh, maybe family pictures you could add a clipping mask to this 
So you could take your picture, which I just did on this one here, above the gray, and I'm going to right click over on the bar over here, create a clipping mask, and it's going to literally stick it in behind the template, and I could free transform from here. And as you can see as I'm doing that, it's hidden behind the template, and that would work for your any other pictures that you're doing. Whoops. Always hold shift when you're uh, adjusting your pictures to keep your aspect ratio in check. So anyways, I don't want the clipping mask on this right now. So I'm going to take the clipping mask back off using my history bar. Um, and then from here, it's just a matter of going into each picture. Um, the next video that you watch is a lot more detailed than this. Um, you're going to go into each picture. You're going to edit. You're going to, sorry, edit, free transform to make them line up a bit, get them where you want them. And this is where you're going to also use your edit, transform, and you're going to use your warp tool. And you're just going to slightly warp to make sure all your corners are lining up and make sure your box sides are straight. Clearly I didn't shoot this one 100% straight on as I have less box showing on the left side than on the right side. It's one thing to watch. It's tricky. You just kind of kind of have to do trial and error. Um, see what works best for you. Some people measure to the middle of the box go back to their camera, measure, make sure that their uh, center of their lens is pointed or the same distance exactly center of the box. Whatever works for you um, is gonna be how you want to set up your camera. So now I've got that on. Uh, sorry, I've got that layered how I want it. I've got it all lined up. And again, next video shows you quickly or more details how to do it. This is quick. I want to get rid of the uh, excess hanging there. So I use my marquee tool, go over it, and I just press delete. And then I do control D or command D to deselect it. Same thing here. Marquee, delete, and then I just control D. And now I can go in, add a mask, and start using my brush. I want a round brush. Right now I was using a chalk brush for stuff earlier, so now I want to switch back to my round brush. And I've got a white mask, so I need to use a black brush. And if you use your square brackets, you can increase or decrease your brush. And I want 100% opacity, and you can just start brushing away in here. And you're going to do the same thing on the grid line, which is the horizontal, or <laughs> not vertical, it's horizontal, I need to change that. Anyways, you're going to add a mask there, and same thing, you're going to just brush away. And you're going to line up all your boxes, once you're done you're going to do a save as, save it as your JPEG, and your box is done. Also I highly recommend saving it as a PSD as your file as the PSD because if you need to go back and make a change you don't want to have to redo everything. So that's quickly how to do the four box or how to edit and uh, if you want to watch in more details watch the other video that I have about editing. Um, but in the meantime hopefully this helps you and enjoy the free templates. Remember to come check us out at In The Box Education. It's a Facebook group. Um, once you ask to be added, I will add you to the group. Go in and download your files and let me know what you think. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.